The jack-up barge Endeavour waits at the port of Great Yarmouth as turbine components are loaded, ready for transportation to the site of the Sheringham Shoal wind farm. This huge vessel is making repeated journeys, carrying the top sections and blades for two turbines each trip and installing them on the 88 foundations that are already in place. Teams work late into the night making sure everything is safely on board. By morning, Endeavour is fully laden and ready to leave, although it's a marvel something so enormous can actually float. Yeah, we are sailing from Great Yarmouth and we have loaded two wind turbines and we will install these wind turbines on two different places. The vessel is uh, nine months old, the tonnage is 5,500 tons, she is 76 metres long and 33 metres wide and we have 3,000 horsepower. The maximum people we can have on board is 150. Endeavour makes easy progress to the wind farm site, 20 kilometres off the coast of North Norfolk. The vessel is equipped with the latest technology to ensure that on arrival in the field, she's positioned in exactly the right place. We have two entrances, the eastern entrance and the northern entrance. We're now going for the F1, Foxtrot 1 and Echo 2. We have four reference systems, GPS 1, EGPS2, uh, fan beam and uh, radio system. Two reflectors, the fan beam uh, transponder is uh, always positioned on a TP, already prepared for us in the fan beam reflector. All the time we maintain two independent uh, position reference systems. Once Endeavour is in position, the legs are lowered onto the seabed, providing a totally stable platform and looking more like an oil rig than a barge. Now the crew can begin the highly technical lifting procedure to raise and install the first of the 80 metre towers. Siemens' involvement in the Sheringham Shoal project is to install the 3.6 megawatt turbines that they've sold to the customer. The installation process involves around 16 to 18 people on the vessel. We have two installation teams made up of one foreman and seven technicians on a 12-hour rotating shift pattern. Uh, to install a turbine, uh, the installation process normally takes around 24 hours. We can normally, from start to finish, put the, put the turbine up within two shifts. We use jack-up vessels because we need a stable platform for the crane to operate. When we are lifting heavy turbine components, the vessel can't be floating around. It must be on a, a perfectly stable seabed platform. Um, on this pro project at Sheringham Shoal, uh, Siemens are putting up 88 turbines. When it comes to switching each turbine on, there, there is a process where individual turbines, as they become uh, live to the grid, can be switched on and provide power back into the grid. The commissioning vessel work towards that to switch each turbine on as it is finished. 
This shot, filmed inside the tower, shows the crews carefully lining up the new section with the base. Once the tower is in place, each of the three blades is lined up. Meticulous planning and safety testing have gone into every step of the process, as accuracy is essential to a good fit. With a blade that measures 52 metres, that's no easy feat. The weather and calm seas are on the team's side, a key issue for a task that requires such precision and where safety is a key priority. Witnessing the first turn of the blades is an impressive sight. One of the main problems working on this particular project offshore is that the uh, personnel have got to be working at height for long periods of time. Obviously one of the major hazards when the guys are working at height is the uh, possibility that they could fall. Before anyone's allowed to come offshore and actually work on the field period, they've got to do a two-day working at height training course which is carried out at one of our recognised training establishments, the uh, personal protective equipment and how to work at height safely using the particular safety equipment uh, that they're issued with from Siemens. The safety record on this uh, particular project so far has been very good and we have no uh, lost time incident or any serious injuries. With the two turbines successfully in place, Endeavour attracts its legs ready for the return journey to Great Yarmouth to pick up more components and repeat the process. Weather permitting, the installation should be completed by summer 2012. With a third of the turbines in place and some already producing electricity to the national grid, Sheringham Shoal Wind Farm is really beginning to take shape as the landmark it's destined to be.